In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can make your own NFT and how you can make money from it. Now, if you're not familiar with what NFTs are, NFT simply stands for non-fungible token. And there has been a serious craze about NFT recently. People selling really crazy stuff for outrageous amounts of money. Simply put, NFTs are artworks in the crypto space. Well, not necessarily artworks. It doesn't have to be artworks. I've seen really crazy stuff like Pokemon cards so very random stops making it into the NFT space. But on a general note, uh, in my opinion, the things that will sell very well are artworks that have value. So in this video, I'm going to cover the major ways to make money from NFTs and I'm going to go in depth in one of the ways. So one of the major ways to make money from NFT is to create and sell your own NFT. If you don't want to do that, you can buy NFTs at a cheap price and sell them at a higher price. And then lastly, you can play games and make NFT, which you can then go ahead to sell in NFT marketplaces. So these are basically three ways to make money from NFTs, but I'll be focusing on the first one, which is to create and sell your own NFTs. Now, if you do not have a huge social media following, it's a little bit pointless to snap pictures of yourself and make them NFTs because nobody's going to buy them. You just have to put out things that have value. And like I said, in the NFT space, the things that in my opinion will have a lot of value are artworks and you may say okay well i'm not an artist i myself am not an artist but i have partnered with an artist and that was exactly what i would advise you to do there are many artists who are not aware that nfts are a thing yet and you want to go and partner with those artists you want to take their artworks and turn them into nfts and anytime you guys make a sale you get the commission from me that is exactly what i'm doing and that's exactly what i'm asking you to do you know a lot of artists in your area that display their works in their own shop or on their own social media and they know nothing about cryptocurrency those are the guys you want to approach tell them that you know it's not about nfts and then help them push their artworks into the crypto space all right and then once you've done that and you make any sale you make money so there are some basic marketplaces where people make money from nfts i'm going to show you a few which are the biggest but these are not the ones i'm going to recommend for a beginner and my reason is simple to mint nfts on these platforms are really expensive i don't want to go into explaining cryptocurrency in details but there's something called gas fee and a gas fee is the amount of money you pay to have something registered on the blockchain so if you want to send ethereum to me for instance there's a certain amount of money that goes as gas fee just consider gas fee a transaction charge and to mint nfts when i say to mint nft i mean to convert something into a non-fungible token that's what i mean so to mint nfts it costs a significant amount of gas fees okay sometimes up to 50 dollars in gas fees so let's say you spend 50 dollars to mint the nft and you do not get any sale that's 50 dollars lost okay so this website you are seeing right here nifty gateway this is one of the biggest nft sites but it is not beginner friendly because you will spend a lot of money upfront minting your nfts and that's not what i want from you okay now look at this i don't know if you can see this this is lanime just look at this artwork it's like a gif and it was sold for 888.88 dollars okay and 818 pieces of it have already been sold this one you are seeing right here this cube rotating was sold for well over two thousand dollars and this is something that graphic designers can do very easily this one bitcoin angel sold for almost two thousand dollars one thousand hundred and fifty dollars and over 2,000 pieces of this Bitcoin angel has been sold. So people have made a lot of money from NFTs so far. And like I said, look at all these NFTs. Many of them in my eyes are just akin to artwork. So if you have an artist in your area that is really good, you guys could possibly make some money if you convert all that artwork into NFTs. Now going down, this one says Savior and this one goes for $210 and it sold four minutes ago this one was sold seven minutes ago for 437 dollars this one sold seven minutes ago for 450 dollars so i really don't understand why people are buying nfts to be honest because all these artworks i feel that they are cheaper in real life but for some reason in the crypto space they are actually very expensive so this is one of the websites if you want to try it out that's fine you just go ahead and uh, sign up create an account you just upload the artwork to the website it's called minting of course you have to connect a wallet from where the ethereum will be collected from 
but don't worry about that i'm going to explain how to mint an nft in the later part of this video i just wanted to show you the websites where you can get involved with nfts so this is one of the sites again remember on this site if you do have the capital you can go ahead and buy one of these and then sell at a higher price the next website is this website called OpenSea. If you just type OpenSea on Google, you will you will get the website. Again, these are artworks of people, and this one is selling for 0 0.14 Ethereum. This one is selling for 0 0.02 Ethereum, and I think Ethereum is well over two thousand dollars at this point. So this this 0 0.14 Ethereum you are seeing is well over two hundred dollars. Okay, for this this artwork. So all these things you are seeing, they are very expensive. This is 0 0.25 Ethereum, which is so much. And this artwork, believe me, can be done by most artists. So these are a couple of artworks. So this, this is the second website, OpenSea.io. The third website is Rarible. Uh, look at where you connect your wallet. This button, you click it and you connect your wallet. These are artworks that are going for. This one is going for 0 0.007 WTH. Uh, these are other artworks that are um, quite expensive. This one is going for 0 0.02 for ETH. This one is going for 1.2 ETH, which is a lot of money, well over $2,000 for this photo right here now like i said before the reason why i will not recommend these ones is because it costs a lot of money to mint uh, your artworks to the website okay it will cost you some amount of money now there is one website where you can mint nfts for free and that website is mintable so this is the website the first thing you want to do is to create a wallet that will hold your ethereum your money and one of the best ones to use is MetaMask. Just go ahead to Google and search MetaMask. Click the first link, MetaMask.io. It's going to take you to this um, page. You just go ahead and download it. MetaMask is a the plugin. Okay, so you just go ahead and download it. You're going to see your wallet address and you're going to set the password for your wallet. You're also going to see your seed. I think there's about 10 different words that you have to arrange uh orderly please copy that on a piece of paper do not lose it for any reason at all also email yourself those words because if for any reason you forget your password those words are the only things that will allow you to access your wallet and if you lose those words believe me even if you have 10 eth inside that wallet you're going to lose the money entirely i'm not going to download metamask right now because i have already downloaded it but it's a very easy process it is not complicated at all just go ahead and download metamask you have zero ETH in your wallet because you have not bought um, any Ethereum inside this um, MetaMask wallet. But if you already have another wallet where you store your cryptocurrencies, you can go ahead and link that wallet to this your mintable um, account. If you do not have uh, any wallet at all where you save your cryptocurrencies, don't worry at all. Just go ahead to MetaMask, download it, and, and set it up. They're going to send you a verification email. Go ahead and verify your account, and that's all. Same thing with Mintable, just go ahead and create an account. Mintable is also going to send you a verification email. Go ahead and verify and that's all. Then you're going to link your Mintable account to your MetaMask wallet. I have already linked mine, so that's why I'm not seeing um, where I can uh, link it right here. But if you have not linked yours, you will see a prompt that will ask you to link it. And all you just need to do is to click the button twice and then you can go ahead and link um, your MetaMask with your Mintable. Now, once you have done that and you have linked both, again, these are artworks that people have done. You, you won't believe this. This one, this is this goes for $91,000. This is just crazy. This is just crazy. So once you have linked them, the next thing to do is to mint an item. You click this button here that says mint an item. Now, it's going to ask you if this item already exists. Is the NFT already in your wallet or you want to create a new item? You go ahead and click create a new item. Now look at what it says here, no transaction fee, completely free. Now there may be other websites where you can mint NFTs for free, but this is the only website that I know at this point in time. So you go ahead and create a new item. This is where you create your NFT. So you write the name of the, uh, of the NFT, just hover around this eye and it's going to tell you what to be your title. This one says, this is the name of the listing on Mintable. So you just go ahead and put the title you go ahead and put the subtitle and then this is where you add the file so if you just click add file it's going to open your folders in your computer and then you can uh, pick whatever artwork you want to mint let's say you want to mint this one so there i've added the image so now you can attach a private file 
or an unlockable content like what they mean by this is that aside the main artwork or the, the nft as the case may be you can decide to add some extra bonuses maybe a short video of the artist when he was painting the artwork or a picture of when the artwork was half done you know some things to make your buyer feel like they got real value for their money so that is what you can you can do here you can attach um a private file or an unlockable content if you want to and then you add a description of uh the nft or the art as the case may be then you can choose whether or not you want to transfer the copyright when purchased that is if someone purchases it can the person use the nft as they like can they use it in a commercial way if you decide to transfer the copyright, then the person can use the NFT as they like after you have, after it has been purchased. But if you decide not to transfer it, then the person can just own it. The person cannot um, use it in a commercial way. Then moving past that, you go over to the price and type. You can have a fixed price. You can auction it as you want to sell it to the highest bidder. Or you can auction with a buy now um, option. So you just fix the price. You just type in whatever you want. You can sell it for 200 dollars if you want which is 0 0.06 ETH, and then you go ahead and list the item now when you click list the item it's going to bring out um your metamask wallet and it's going to ask you to to confirm that you are the one that is requesting this transaction so once you just click yes i signed this in your metamask wallet it's going to mint the nft i'm going to tell you that yes your nft is minted in your store now mintable allows you to mint 50 nfts for free so if you are partnering with an artist you can actually have 50 nfts on mintable mintable does not have the same exposure as nifty gateway OpenSea, and variable okay but at least mintable is free if you are going to mint 50 artworks on nifty gateway you can imagine how much you will pay in gas fees okay it is a lot a lot of money I believe that if you have 50 artworks on Mintable, you should at least get one or two sales, which can enable you to now move your artworks from Mintable to the other platforms that have greater exposure. This is the Instagram page of an artist, and he has over 690 posts. He has 16,000 followers. And these artworks are not bad at all. These artworks are the same kind of artworks that are going for lots of money on all these nft websites so if i knew this guy in person and he did not know anything about cryptocurrency or nfts i'm going to convince him to work with me and i'll upload his artworks on this nft website and if i make any sale i get a commission and i give him the rest that is exactly what i will do there are many amazing artists that know nothing about cryptocurrency and if they find someone who's going to do the, the crypto part of the work for them they will definitely be willing to give you a commission. So don't be afraid to reach out to all these artists. One last thing I want to say is that one of the ways you can increase the chances of selling your NFT is to be involved in NFT online communities, both on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and pretty much any other social media you know. Go ahead, involve yourself in the community, share your NFTs in the group, and you may never know who is going to buy your own NFT. If you have any further questions on NFT, please leave them in the comment section below. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.